Now let's create a new question set. To do this, we can go to our Create tab in the header. Now let's create a question set on Spanish animal words. You can also add a description, but that's optional. You'll see buttons down here where you can either leave your set public or change it to private. If you leave your set public, other teachers can find it in the Discover tab with our search feature. You can also import a game directly from Quizlet. Now this has its own tutorial on the site, so we won't go through it on now, and we'll stick to just doing manually. We also want to do a cover image for our game, so you can easily identify it. Now you can either use our image gallery, upload a file from your computer, or upload by URL. To upload by URL, just click this button, go ahead and find a picture that you want. Let's lay this panda. Right click on the image, copy image address, go back to blue kit, and then just paste it. And upload just like that and you'll get your panda. We'll go over the image gallery option in a second, but for now we can just create our game. Now right now our game doesn't have any questions. Again, we can import questions from Quizlet, or we can hit Add Questions. So let's say we want to um, identify an animal. So maybe we just type, what's this? And then we can upload an image of that animal. Let's use our image gallery this time. Now, using this feature, we can just search for any animal. Let's say a cat. And I'll return a whole bunch of pictures of cats. And we can just go ahead and select any cat, say this one. And boom, we have a cat just right there. You can also set the time limit for this question, uh, whether you want the question options to be randomly sorted. That's saying, let's say we say El Gato for cat, or uh, El Perro for dog. And if we want this to always appear first, we'll uncheck this. However, if we want this to randomly switch with El Perro, so uh, you get more randomness in the game, we can leave this checked. We highly suggest this, unless it's really important that the questions stay in order. Um, other options, um, let's just, uh, you can leave them blank if you want, or you can um, fill them in. We'll just do these two options for now. And then we can go ahead and hit save, which answer is correct. Perfect. You see an error if you haven't created a question completely. So now we know that El Gato is correct, so we'll leave that check mark right there. And now we can save successfully. And boom, we have a, our first question to add to the question set. And you can just go ahead and continue to add questions, import questions. If you want to go back and edit a question, you can click edit and go there. You can delete a question or duplicate a question. And I'll open the editor, say, what's this? And now we look up a dog. And we change the correct answer. And now we have two questions. Perfect. Uh, you can also edit the title, description, cover image by going to edit and you can change the question order by using these arrows. Now after you're done with the question set, you can go ahead and hit save and it'll go back to our dashboard and now we have our first question set. Uh, you can see the title, how many questions, the cover image. You can also see some options here. We can go back and edit the question set. Uh, we can delete the question set, we can copy it, and then we can see these solo and host options to uh, play the question set. That's about it for creating question set. Hope that helps. Thank you.